just another update on the Blue Sky C, uh, CB27, uh, also made by QYT. Um, got a bit more familiar with the radio now. Um, I've managed to get it going, um, as you can see on here, on the UK channels, um, quite successfully. Um, and obviously, with you being on the UK channels, um, well, on the CB channels, you get only four watts output. Um, and if you just notice the Roger bleep, bleep on there now as well, there's quite a different the different ones you can choose from on the radio. Um, I've also, um, it came with a data cable, this radio did, and I noticed that there was no software available uh, on the internet, so I sent an email off um, to QYT, and they sent me a file uh, to program it. So I'm going to uh, we'll just give you a quick rundown on the program to uh, program the unit. So, um, so I'm going to unplug this lead here. And then the data cable, which is here, there's a data cable with the with it. that plugs in the front of the radio. That's like so. Hang on, bear with me a minute. I'm just going to go over to the PC and uh, where are we now? There at the top is um, QB300. You press on that. Should load up. Uh, one thing I noticed with this software, sorry about the filming, is not very good. Um, was it came up in Chinese? Um, so it was the fourth one along, and uh, it set language, which is the second one down. If you set it to Chinese, I'll show you anyway. Uh, confirm. It, it's quite hard to understand. So it's the fourth one along, second one down, and then. Um, Select, okay, and it should come back to me. Oh, try again. Fourth one along, second one down, that top one. Yeah, got it, <laughs> back again. Right, so um, to program it, first you need to find your COM port. I think this one's set to COM port 5, which is there. COM port 5, confirm, uh, and then Right data so oh I'm gonna menu you just choose the model as well. So um at the moment model information uh it's a CB uh, which is QB three hundred. So we're on, we're on CB at the moment. We can also select um hang on, HF and ham. So we'll do CB at the moment, confirm, and we're gonna program the radio. So I'm just gonna press this button here. Uh, sorry about my filming. Uh, write the data to transceiver and then click OK and it's actually on the screen there it's writing across and also on the on the radio as well you can see PC write and it should come back hopefully well, there we go I'm a program this to UK again so uh, yeah I, um, I did this um, I had trouble getting hold of the UK channels um, but I found selecting um, I'll show you this bit as well this is quite important um, to go onto UK on this radio power down I'll try and do this with one hand uh, press function one this time because uh, last time uh, I pressed six to do the uh, ham and HF channels band, sorry, and then this one. So you need to press all these at the same time, which is a bit difficult with one hand. And that didn't work. I'm done. I'll have to. So it's F1 function and power. Let's, I'll put the phone down again. Okay. F1 function and power. Obviously, you need two hands for that. <laughs> so, I hope that the focus is out on this. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it says band U at the moment on CB. It's not very clear, I'm afraid. That's Poland. Is it Banal 
12 uh, Germany EU band. So if I set it to EU band, I keep put my finger on here. Oh, try again. Didn't work. Hang on. Oh, it's out. It says, sorry, tell a lie. It is, and it's set to EU band now. That's it. At the moment, I've got a dummy load on at the moment. Um, so, I'm able to test. Oh, no, this isn't plugged in, is it? <laughs> Hang on. I'll unplug this and put the mic back on. And as you, as you can see, the thing I like about this radio is it's got um, up and down buttons on the mic, but what confuses me, there's four of them and they both do the same thing. Um, so I'm not sh I'm not quite sure why there is four at the moment. Uh, but I'll try and work that, that out later. Um, yeah, o overall I'm quite sure for this radio. Um, I'll show you the VFO mode as well. So I'm just going to go into uh, HF mode and I'll show you the VFO mode on, on this radio. Let's see. So it's function, power, and F6. Turn the radio off first, I hope. And we're going to go into HF mode and enable. So I'm in HF mode now. I'm going to press this button. It says Resetting ECU, please wait. Okay, and now we we are in HF mode. So I'm gonna. This camera isn't very good. Right, so I'm in HF mode now. So you want to select. Uh, which button is it now? I'm guessing here now. That's squelch. Hang on. Function. That's modulation. Hang on. Uh, band, which is four. Yeah. So we're in band D at the moment. So I'm going to change the band to VFO. And as you can see, we're in VFO now. So what you need to do now is press. Yeah, that's that, that's it. And then you notice we can scan through all the channels now, all the way to the top. But if you want to go to 27, you, know, you press the button in there, put your finger in there, and then you can select. You keep on pressing it, you see. And then you can select, oh, two, six. And there we go, we're on 27.655. So that's VFO mode. Um, so that's about it really, um, like I say it's a quite a good radio, um, I managed to, I'm going to set it up in my car next and uh, I'll give it a whirl, so yeah, um, I'm going to try and post um, the the, uh, the file, to the program file because I, I couldn't find it anywhere and uh, luckily I got an email back off them um, for the programming software for the radio, so I'll, I'll try and put it um, on the internet somewhere so uh, you can download it. So, uh, yeah, just check my posts anyway. So, okay, thank you very much.